let's focus on spore formation now this is a method of reproduction similar to the other methods of fission methods of fragmentation budding uh, vegetative reproduction that we have understood in various classes spore formation is a common process that we see on bread so on the bread we have bread mold now when does this bread mold develop very important bread mold would develop only in moist conditions not in dry conditions why because in dry conditions the hypha of the spores uh, would actually fail to develop so this since the hypha cannot develop the sporangia cannot develop and since the sporangia cannot develop spore formation would not take place so this happens in a moist bread sample and this is the example of rhizopus so what happens is rhizopus develops on a moist bread surface uh, and you have firstly the hyphae that develop from the hyphae you have sporangia now sporangia is a accumulation of numerous spores now as the bursting of sporangia takes place all these spores are separated out and each spore is capable of forming the new rhizopus that could be seen and this is uh, the section which we understand as spore formation now here we have a simple demonstration we have a slice of bread now when this slice of bread is moist you have the hyphae and the spore formation so this is the hyphae uh, then you have the sporangia that is there from the sporangia the small pores are released after the bursting of it and each of these spores are capable of forming a new rhizopus so you can imagine how rapidly this bread bread mold would grow if you have moist bread that is being left in your house so be very very careful about the growth of fungi and this is the process by which they actually reproduce we would be covering many more interesting lectures for you stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead